Hey, what is up guys, I Device Help here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at some of the new features in watchOS 4. Let's begin. First I wanna talk about the new Apple Watch pairing interface here. Go ahead and enable Bluetooth and show you how the Apple Watch can now be connected to the iPhone using a very similar interface that you would find with a W1 enabled device like AirPods, for example. Just click pairing here. It's gonna start pairing my device right here to my iPhone. Now the iPhone does have to be running iOS 11 of course in order for this uh, to work but watchOS 4 and iOS 11 do have a new pairing interface. On watchOS 4 we have a new number pad including new sounds to it and a back key as well including animations for when you tap on a, a digit here you see that new animation and the sound along with it and a back key as well. Now on watchOS 4, Apple gives you sort of a little cards here with tutorials on how you can interact with the new OS, swiping gestures and things like that. You can swipe in between. It gives you uh, little tutorials here, pretty cool stuff that you can learn while your Apple Watch is pairing. It also has the digital crown tips here. You can learn how to use the digital crown on the new watchOS 4. It shows you again some of the great tips of the new OS, which is very useful. A lot of people don't understand some of the features and uses of some of the uh, buttons with the watch OS and the Apple Watch in general. So very nice that they added these cards here to kind of show you how to use your Apple Watch with the new watch OS 4. One of my favorite new features about watch OS 4 is the new dock. As you can see here, you can just scroll through it very, very easily, very nicely. And you get new animations and new fonts. Now at the bottom of the dock, you also get the ability to go back to the home screen to the grid view. And speaking of the grid view, you can now 3D touch or force touch on the grid view and then go to a list view. It's a lot easier to navigate. Uh, some people will prefer this over the grid view, including myself. WatchOS 4 also offers a new Siri watch face, which is a watch face that gives you your reminders, your to-do list. I also have a Siri button up at the top left, including the time and the date here on the right. And I like this a lot because if I have a reminder or things to do throughout the day, I can see it in this cards because it updates in real time and it also gives you suggestions of things that you could do throughout the day with the new Siri watch face. Now, although new watch faces for Toy Story aren't available in beta one, you can expect new Toy Story watch Watch faces which is going to be in addition to the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse that we currently have. Under the generals tab here you'll find a new orientation tag here where you can go ahead and change the wrist to left and right including the digital crown left and right. You also have the wake screen so when you lift your watch you see the screen light up. It's sort of like the rise to wake. You see those new options here you can enable or disable directly on the watch. Now nightstand mode you can also enable or disable. You also have some location services uh, right here on the Apple Watch itself. Now all these options or some of these options were available through the watch app on your iPhone but now some of these options are being made available directly on the watch user interface. Now inside of the phone application on your Apple Watch you'll notice a slightly different interface bolder text and of course a new keypad option which wasn't available before. When you start to dial you see that the interface is a slightly different than what it was before and of course you have access to your keypad, your microphone and then the volume from right there once the call has been answered. So pretty cool new interface here for the watch or the phone application in the Apple Watch. Now if you watch my iOS 11 coverage, you might have noticed that I talked about a repeat option for the timer. Same thing applies here for the Apple Watch. Once it's done, you can repeat the timer over and over. That option was not available before. You can set the custom timers and the new option to repeat is very, very handy. Now if you haven't noticed as of yet, the news application has now made available on the Apple Watch. You can save for later, go to the next story and it just gives you glances at quick information and things that are happening at the moment. Now if we tap into music, music I brought a lot of new things here for watchOS 4 starting with the offloading of playlists directly on Apple Watch. So if you go to workout and you have a playlist you can sync it to Apple Watch. If you go to the new control center here you'll notice that there's a few new things here like the flashlight right here. If you go ahead and enable it you get a, a white screen here that will flash in let's say you're running in the evenings or taking a walk this is going to be very useful so you're more visible you have a second one which flashes a little more and with the digital crown you can intensify that the workouts tab is entirely new here you have several different types of workout and you can continue one single session through different types of workout you can add workouts to a particular uh, segment that you're doing here you see the new user interface with animations and everything included very nicely you get all your information on the main screen here if you start to the right you have all your music controls and volumes for that new music application. If you swipe to the left, you have the ability to lock it 
and the only way you unlock it if you completely turn the digital crown which is very useful so you don't accidentally uh, end up a session without wanting to you can pause it and add another session to the workout that you're doing now and then just continue both in between you also have the ability to end it of course and continue an entirely new workout so very useful options here and more options inside of the workout section of the new workout application for watch os 4 when you go to create new watch faces now you have a new kaleidoscope option here which you can choose and make very cool watch faces depending on the photos that you have on your phone so you can actually take a picture on your phone create a watch face using the iphone here so if i go into the photos on my iphone here let's say i have this photo here i can go ahead here into the share tab and create a new watch face right here and that's going to give me the option to create the new kaleidoscope right there really cool and you can go ahead and change that you have all your settings down here and it's all going to be managed through the photos application on the iphone but you do have that really cool option now available for watch os 4. i also wanted to share messages because messages now offers the peer-to-peer -peer ability to send money using siri and the new messages application uh, user interface is relatively identical to what it was before with all your options that you would expect and if you swipe to the left here you have a detailed button and a delete trash button in the messages tab as well this was a quick view at watch os 4 i hope you guys enjoy the video let me know what you think i'll be covering this more in depth once it is released to the public i really really like what i'm seeing and i uh, hope you guys enjoy the video it's been i help and i'll see you guys on the next one peace